What's good, you two? That one I two. You're back again, once again. And today, people, today over here on our second channel. Yes, I did say second channel. If you guys didn't know, we do have a main channel which focuses primarily on Pokemon content. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, you can check out the link to it in the description. But today on our second channel, we have our first ever loot crate opening. It's our first ever loot crate opening on the second channel. We used to open up loot crates over on our main channel. Uh, I'll include a link to the playlist. That includes all of our loot crate openings, even the ones from the main channel and like today's and everything from here on out. So you guys can check out all of our loot crate opens over the past couple months. Um, but from here on out, our loot crate opens will be here on the second channel because a uh, subscriber pointed it out a little while ago on the main channel that technically this isn't really Pokemon content. So it should have a home more so over here on the second channel. And I pondered it for a couple months and I finally decided, you know what, you're right. Let's go ahead and upload Loot Crate over on the second channel because if anything that just provides more diversity over here, you know, we don't really have a like standard or set like vlogish type series and I guess unboxings fulfill that to an extent. So either way, if you guys would like to sign up for a Loot Crate of your own to so go ahead and open with us over here once a month on the second channel, uh, you can go to the description. I was about to say go to LootCrate.com. Actually, you can do that. LootCrate.com slash KingNappy. Uh, go ahead, go to LootCrate.com slash KingNappy and use the promo code NAPPY and you'll get a 10% discount on it as well. Of course, more information on all that is included in the description, but I would love it if you guys could open up Loot Crates with us once a month over here on the second channel. This loot crate, however, we are behind, just like Pokecrate over on our main channel. This is actually January's loot crate. Uh, we're behind on it and because I was going through some personal stuff and I didn't get a chance to open it. But not only that, um, if you guys can kind of sort of see, I don't want to give away my address or anything, but you see the little the yellow, yellow sticker and whatnot. Um, uh, you guys do know that I rude, uh, I, I rude, I moved a couple months ago and I hadn't had the chance to. Um, update my address for loot crates so they keep sending my loot crates to my old address and then I have to wait for it to get forwarded here I just got finished emailing loot crate and they have my new address so hopefully from here on out once we get January February and March's loot crates out the way like I don't even have February's loot crate yet this is the only one I have in my possession that's how long it takes for it to get forwarded here it's ridiculous um but once we get those out of the way, we should be back on track with everything, so we're going to go ahead and open up January's Loot Crate today. I know I just spat a lot of information at you guys, and hopefully you guys keep up. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and open up January's Loot Crate today uh, because I want to stay on track with it and whatnot. So if you guys are hyped for our first Loot Crate opening here on the second channel, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. It'd be amazing if we could kick off Loot Crate here on the second channel. With, uh, uh, with a lot of support and whatnot. But let's go ahead and use our handy dandy multi tool that we got from our December holiday Vsauce loot crate and go ahead and cut this one open sure and see what we can do. Of course, you guys get to see it before I do. Cue the Zelda music. And let's see what we have inside. Let's see a t-shirt. Oh, I feel the t-shirt. So nice with both fingers. But let's see what we have here. Uh, I should probably get like a second camera that looks at the table so I can like open stuff. Kind of like how I do the, the TCG openings on the main channel. Whatever. Anyways, the first thing that we see here, we have Black Tie Geek. Downtown Los Angeles. I'm not sure what that is. We'll go through everything, of course. We have a t-shirt of sorts, of course. We have a nifty pair of sunglasses. We have a uh, Loot Crate exclusive, uh, it's like a Super Nintendo cartridge, I'm not exactly sure exactly what it is. Uh, Loot Crate's theme for January was Rewind, so it's like all like old school stuff. If you want to focus in on that, that pin, that badge that we got for, for the month. Yeah, hey, 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 hey! Loot Crate Rewind for January 2015. We have a comic notebook. Then we have the actual book that tells us everything that comes inside the Loot Crate. And then we have another Loot Crate exclusive comic. So we're going to go ahead and take a gander at all of these. The box, well, we'll save the box for, can we? I don't know if the box is anything. Oh, I see what it is. Do you guys see what the box is? Do you see what it is? Ah! 
I love how Loot Crate does the inside of their boxes like that. But we went ahead and saw everything that's inside. Uh, I'm, I'm opening up Loot Crate kind of awkwardly this month. I don't normally just empty it and then go through it again. I normally just pull it out and go through it that way. So I don't know. We'll see how this works out. We'll see. But either way, let's go ahead and dive into everything that they sent us. Let's go ahead and take a gander at the comic first. It is a Loot Crate exclusive because you guys can see the little Loot Crate exclusive sticker on there. It's uh, a Star Wars comic, of course, and of course it comes with a poster and whatnot, but I'm not going to open it because I know comic book collectors out there want their stuff still sealed and whatnot, so we won't get to see what the poster is. Actually, the book here might tell us what the poster is, but you don't touch the book! This is rule number one of Blue Crate opening! You don't touch it until you go through everything or else it's going to spoil shit for you! So don't touch it! But either way, we have a comic book here, a Loot Crate comic book for Star Wars. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of Star Wars growing up. Uh, I know Loot Crate over the past couple months has sent us different Star Wars themed stuff, and it's cool and whatnot. I don't, I'm not hating on Star Wars, it's just I wasn't like into space as a kid, which is really weird now because I absolutely love space. I 100,000% love space, and uh, I'm going to share something with you guys right now that I probably shouldn't share. Um, but. When I was in, when I was still going to school, because a lot of you guys know that I'm not in school right now, but when I was still going to school, um, I actually took an astronomy class. And it was one of those classes where um, instead of meeting like three to four times a week or whatever, um, you'd only meet once a week, and half the curriculum was there and the other half was online. And you would meet once a week for like four hours or whatever. You know, it was, it was a long ass time. And I failed that class. <laughs> I failed that class, but I was, I, I attended every single class, I paid attention to every single uh, lecture the guy gave, I watched every single video, I took all my notes, I just didn't do any of the work, because like I said, half the class was online, so after I sat in class for four hours on a Wednesday night, this is before Winter Trade Wednesday was a thing by the way, that's how long ago it was, and I would have to go home and spend like another six hours online holding discussions and doing a whole bunch of I was uh, that's that's why I'm not in school now because me and school just don't click I encourage you guys to stay in school don't get me wrong stay in school listen to your parents do all that stuff just for me personally it didn't click but I still loved every second every minute of the class and I'm kicking myself in the ass ever since then for failing that because it doesn't make any sense if you love the class that much and you want to pay attention to everything there's no reason that you should fail it. I was just lazy and I didn't want to do the work. So, bad nappy, bad nappy, bad nappy. But still, that, that just proves my point that I love astronomy that much. So either way, we got the comic book. Like I already showed you guys, we have the Loot Crate Rewind pin. I'm not going to wait for it to focus. Uh, up next, we have the uh, Hunky Dory. Ooh, these are actually really nice. Like, you think, like, sometimes when you get stuff, oh wait, it doesn't say it on that side, it says on this side. You think sometimes when you get stuff out of this, it's like, just like, cheap plastic or whatever. This is actually, like, decent, you guys hear that? This is like, thick, decent plastic, and they're nice glasses, too. Like, I'm not even mad about this. I'm not even mad about this. I think we should, oh god, my head's so big. I think I might just have to open loot crates every month with these motherfuckers on from here on out. I don't know. I don't know. These motherfuckers right here is nice, nigga. They nice. And of course, the webcam freezes because I don't think it's the webcam that's the problem. I think it's the laptop that I'm using. Cause like I don't get webcam freeze issues on my main computer, but like since I'm over here with the setup and everything behind me, I start getting issues. So either way, I think we might have to uh, wear these from here on out when we open up Loot Crate. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But our next item that we have here is a comic notebook. A comic notebook, it's a pocket notebook. A notebook for when inspiration strikes, cartooning tips, and a tear-out balloon template for side gags, character studios, and heroics. Mm, I said character studios, it says character studies. I can't see with these glasses on. <laughs> we might not do loot crate opens with these on from here on out. Pow! Pow! But, uh, we do have a comic, ooh, it is. It actually is, really, it's a comic notebook on the inside. It's a really interesting idea. Like, you can sit there and jot your own comics, and like they said, they do have little pop-outs for, uh, 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 can I get my finger on it? Up, oh, swag. Little pop-outs for you to do, uh, little call-outs and whatnot. It's like a stencil. So, like, on your, on your actual, like, pages in here, 
you can like BAM draw the stencil of like your pop-out bubble next to your next to your homeboy that you're drawing or whatnot and you're good to go. Because I mean drawing a circle is hard as a motherfucker, let's be real. And they give you a few different tips as well on to uh what to write and whatnot. So it's a decent idea, I guess, for for starting. I mean if if we really wanted to, we could write a 64 page Nappy Nation comic strip and see what the hell we gonna do with it, nigga. I feel like this is something that I would do like at a live panel or something. Like I would sit there and be like, everyone in the audience, give me what's gonna happen next. We're gonna write like a 10 panel comic strip. What's gonna happen next, you know? So I don't know, that's actually not a bad idea. I should keep that in mind because there might be a few conventions I'm going to over the next couple months, and that's not a bad idea for a panel. So either way, I appreciate that, Loot Crate. I appreciate it. Loot Crate just gave us one hell of an idea. Oh my lord. I might actually seriously look into doing that at a convention. Oh, that seems like an interesting idea. By the way, we have the comic notebook itself here. Then uh, we have... I don't know what this is. It just says Loot Crate Exclusive. LSO Analog. So, oh wait, wrong side. Loot Crate... Wait, no. Front side. <laughs> Loot Crate Exclusive. Right there. So let's see what it is. Let's see if we can figure it out. I thought it was soap at first. Corbin's Alley for Geeks by Geeks. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know what this is. We have a few different objects. Ooh, we have the little... The, the, the gun. The gun. We have... Uh, these are like... Wait. I think I'm putting it together now. I'm on my Rosanna Pansino grind. Let's put it on! I don't know. If, yeah, that was that was terrible. It made her sound like she was Mickey Mouse or something. <laughs> uh, I think you're supposed to go like Mercedes here, shaking. You're supposed to. Oh, it's a figurine, you guys. Look at this. The other little pieces that we had were uh, hands and feet, like Mr. Potato Head. And then you can take the gun and put it in his hand. Uh, I'm maybe I'm not old enough, but I don't remember this game. But with his hands and feet set up now, he can hold his little gun. Ah, shit! He's got just an arm and a foot now. <laughs> he just dropped all off the table. So either way, you get to his hands and feet are scattered over the floor now. So either way, you, you guys get the idea. He's got hands and feet. Right there, and he was holding the gun, the little prop gun, the, the old controller, old school controller. I've never heard of Corbin's Alley. I need to do my research. I don't know if that's a real game or not, or if they're just making it up. I don't know. We'll have to see in the Loot Crate book afterwards. I don't know. Uh, up next, I feel so bad about dropping it. Why does it always happen on Loot Crate? I always drop something. Uh, up next, we have a t-shirt here, which... Let's take a gander and see what it is here. Let's see what it is here. Can I can I see what it is here? It is it says Flop House. Loot Crate exclusive t-shirt as well. Is this like Gundam? Because it's not Transformers. It's a big ass robot. So either it's Gundam or something else that I don't know. Because I never watched Gundam growing up. There was one mech. Uh, anime or show that I did watch when I was growing up and I remember I got the uh, little Like transformer toy that came with it for like a period of like six months It was my life growing up. And I cannot remember what the name of that show was for the life of me I can't remember it's gonna kick me in the ass. But we'll figure out what this is once we crack open that book We have one item left to look at and it's black tie geek Whatever this might be black tie geek established 2013 in downtown Los Angeles is this a tie? It says black tie, but this would be a white tie. Is this a tie? Oh, good. Open it! Oh, I did it. Ooh. 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 It is a tie. Ooh. Ooh. I can tell you right now, I am not. Proficient enough to know how to tie my own tie. 
Um, it's not because I'm any less of a man, okay? I don't think I'm less of a man because I'm gonna have to tie a goddamn tie. It's just because I don't ever wear ties. So, I mean, it's really nice. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, it's got, I think, Space Invaders. That's what this is, Space Invaders on it. It wants to focus. Really focus? I don't know if it'll focus, but you guys can see it's got like Space Invaders on it or whatever. So it's a really nice tie. So next formal event I attend, I'm going to learn how to tie a goddamn tie. Wear it like a Natsu scarf. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to tie a goddamn tie. And we'll have Black Tie from uh, Los Angeles. Black Tie Geek from Los Angeles. Ooh, that's nice. I thought it was a white tie at first, but it's really nice. I like it a lot. I, w I would roll it back up right now, but uh, I'll be here all day. I'll be here all day. So let's go ahead and take a gander at uh, the book now. Since we've been through everything, we can figure out all the different goodies and whatnot that we actually got. So like I said, it's uh, the theme for January is Rewind, a look back at geek and gaming past. So let's see what we have here inside, of course, the table context. Con context contents, the different Loot Crate subscribers. If you guys are subscribed to Loot Crate, you might end up in here as well. I would flip shit if I saw myself in here. And I thought that girl at the top was Glitch City for half a second, but it's not. I'm sorry, Glitch, for stereotyping me like that. But, a rewind through retro gaming. Of course, the Nintendo is there as well. And they have an entire thing. I just saw a glimpse about Zelda. They have an entire, like, uh, article about it. And whatnot, and then they talk about January's Mega Crate, which is a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Oh, how am I that stupid? It's Voltron. The shirt is from Voltron. See, I said Gundam again. Voltron's like before my time. I'm sorry. Like I know I'm old as hell and whatnot, but I'm not that old. I'm sorry. It's Voltron. I feel like such a dumbass. Why didn't I think of that? I know what Voltron is too. Sadie, why didn't I think of that? Anyways, uh, we have, uh, there's ten different DOPE figures from Square Kids Inc. They're retro, they're inspired, they're so analog. Some may think these miniature game cartridges are a thing of the past, but we think they still have, uh, legs and arms and feet and accessories too. Standing three inches tall, these figures are inspired by our favorite NES console games from the 80s and 90s. Six in all, including a super rare gold variant. Mm, some symbol required. So we did get one of them, so I'm guessing that Corbin's Alley is an actual game. They have Doctor Who... Fire Hunt, Alien Attack, 1v1 Gigawatts, that's, um, uh, that's, um, Back to the Future, and I'm guessing the gold one is Zelda, over in the corner there, so you guys can see all the different ones if you like, if you like, I would love it if we got the gold one, that'd be nice, we have the exclusive Star Wars comic book issue 1, ooh, 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 see if I was in the comics I'd recognize this issue 1. But I'm not into comics, so I don't know. And then it is the Voltron Blueprint T-shirt. Uh, whether you're defending the universe or defending your place on the sofa, you'll look great doing it in this uber-exclusive T-shirt design available to a chosen few, you, the Loot Crate community. Its contemporary fit is soft and comfortable and flatters any physique. So the Voltron shirt is there as well. I'm still kicking myself in the ass for that. Then there's the comic notebook and the exclusive 8-bit glasses. They speak on those as well. And then at the very back, you have a controller that you can pop out for your NES box design like earlier. And we just lagged off, and we just lagged all hardcore hell and back. Because, like I said, each each month the different loot crates change their design on the inside of what it is. So you have the actual NES there, and then they give you the controller to go with it inside the book. So either way, whether I know what's inside each month's loot crate or not, or not, or not. I still uh, really, really enjoy opening up Loot Crate because you learn something new each time. I don't think there's been one Loot Crate where I've just completely just like, oh, this is this, this is that, this is this, this is that, this is this, this is this, you know what I mean? So, I had fun, and I hope that you guys did too. If you like to open up a Loot Crate of your own with us here on the second channel, be sure to check out the link in the description, uh, lootcrate.com slash kingnappy, and use the promo code nappy for an extra 10% off as well. Uh, but with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. As soon as I get the February and March loot crates, I will be opening them up over here as well. They'll probably end up being late, and we'll probably have to end up rushing a couple of them out so we can catch up with everyone else now that my address has been updated. But with that, thank you guys so, so much for your patience. You guys are hyped that loot crate is over here on the second channel now. I don't know. 
If you enjoyed, definitely make sure you smash the like button down below for us. If you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us. With that, I'm going to get it about. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, to that point, I need to. Uh -huh.